Hello Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. My name is Julia Aurelia and I'm here to do your card reading for the month of October. So I'm going to lay out the Celtic Cross with the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. So if your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus sign is in Taurus, this is the right video for you. Also, it's a general reading, so check out your other placements as well. I'm just going to give it a little pre-shuffle. So let's see, what are the energies for Taurus for October? Oh wow, there is a liberation energy. So this is an energy where you're going to let go of the past, judgment, uh, forgiveness, forgiving yourself, forgiving others, uh, plays a big part here in order for your heart to be light again, in order for you being able and really ready for a new beginning here. So this card also says me, uh, to me, there is something in your life that has ended where you now need to release the energy so they don't weigh you down. Uh, we do have the card of independence here, so the nine of pentacles is independence, um, but it also means so both, right? So releasing something and being independent here from something. Um, it could also mean this is the card of your hard work is paying off. So something you really worked hard for, now you can uh, actually harvest the fruits of your hard labor. But I also feel like definitely the energy of you needing to release something from your heart. the energy for energies for Taurus wow and Taurus your card here with the Hierophant Hierophant is always trust the divine there is um, a higher power at work here so trust that um, have faith that everything goes here like like sorry that was very German of me uh, have your faith up that everything is going to work according to your soul's plan um, so keep the faith with this card and again the releasing of the old. Um, might be like a more spiritual practice coming into your life or a spiritual teaching. And we do have the Page of Cups. This is a new beginning, an emotional new beginning. So there could be something or someone in your life uh, that is connected to something new uh, that is going to make you really happy, that has a great potential um, for fulfilling all of your dreams. And with this card, it could be an offer or a message coming in uh, that does that for you. Um, it could be a uh, new beginning in an ex existing relationship. It could be a new relationship, but this is just the beginning. So this is connected to something that is triggering your emotions where you now think about how beautiful the world could be, the future could be. So this is uh, your visions, you're fantasizing about something, you're all up in the air. It's a card of um, emotional feeling a little bit lighter. So really, really beautiful energy here, an emotional new beginning in some shape or form uh, could obviously also connect to anything connected to your uh, life purpose, to your work, your friendship. Um, so yes, really beautiful here for you. Uh, let's go deeper into your reading. How often did I do this now? Twice, right? Let's do this again. And the give and take balance here. So. Um, again, the Hierophant, obviously, one card of the cards I'm using is always at the bottom of the deck. Hierophant, your card again. And we do have the uh, Six of Pentacles. It might be that there's someone helping you. So this is the card of someone who's very... Um, <laughs> charity, charitable, do you say that? Uh, someone who could help you out here financially or in any other way. So there might be uh, a person helping um it might be that you are on the receiving end now it might be that there's someone you can help now i do have to say it feels more like either there's someone who can help you now or it's about a give and take balance that is now being restored something getting in balance again all right what are the energies for taurus sun moon rising venus for october what are the energies for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for October? And at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles is an energy of um, doing a lot of things at the same time. It's a multitasking uh, energy, um, which basically means that something is a little bit out of uh, balance in your life. And this card would always... Um, ask you to really set priorities um, because 
in order for you to gain a little bit more stability again you need to make a decision you need to set priorities uh, because otherwise you're just going to be like okay a little bit here a little bit there and maybe you're not doing um, the things that you're doing um, as good as you could do them if you would just focus on one thing at a time so it might be that it's a time now to uh, set priorities in your life in order to gain a little bit more stability again on the other side you could weigh up your options connected to a decision maybe that there's some sort of decision in your life where you're like oh, i'm not sure yes no yes no i don't know uh also a possibility with this energy um, since it is the pentacles, this could connect to finances as well. So maybe you're juggling finances in the month of October, uh, trying to uh, yeah get everything going and just try to um, maybe keep a flow in finances and sort everything out. So I do always get a little bit of an overwhelming energy with this card where... Um, it also could hint towards the energies of that you have worked a lot and that you have done a lot and that now a little bit more fun might be important to integrate again back into your life. Um, we do have the uh, King of Wands here. King of Wands energy could be a person in your life. Could be a father, a partner uh, of, or a uh, a father a partner male or female uh, it could be um, a boss so maybe someone you're working for us for someone in a leading position uh, this is someone who's very independent attractive charming uh, very handsome and this is someone who's very popular uh, so maybe there's someone in your life who this refers um, or, or some of it refers to um, who is in the month of October center of your attention. Um, it's also about making wise decisions for the future. Basically, uh, this uh, king has learned a lot. He has gained a lot of wisdom through the experiences that uh, he has went through. And therefore, he's now able to uh, plan ahead for the future and knows what's, what's actually best to do. There could be someone in your life who gives you an advice now uh, when it comes to your future plans it could be you making future plans but now very wise because you've learned from your past experiences or like i said it's someone in your life who who's uh, in a leading position or has a specific influence onto you um, it might also mean stepping up into a leading position you yourself that could relate to work and finances maybe um, as well so let's have a look the issue is the five of swords so the five of swords is a destructive energy and this is something you need to overcome here um, which basically talks about the fights uh, and the conflicts in our lives that we can't find any compromises um, so it's a card of selfish self hold on a second how do you say that it's people who are selfish okay people who are selfish people who want to win at all costs people who have no empathy uh, people who want to be right at all costs that might be in some shape or form an issue that you are facing in the month of october on the other hand it's a destructive energy it's the um, energy of maybe even a loss or having lost something and that might be something you need to overcome here um if this is about a group uh, dynamic, it could be conflict within a group where, again, I don't feel like with this card there are any compromises possible. So um, there is a little bit of a difficult energy when it comes to the Five of Swords here as your main challenge. So let's see. Your focus is the, uh, the King of Pentacles. Again, the kings in general could stand for advice. So maybe you're thinking about advice related to your finances, your business or your home life or your family. Um, there could be some aspect, same as the king of wands would give you advice um, related to future plans, to projects, to something that uh, you deeply feel for or feel passionate um, for. Um, it, could, it could also be that there's a passionate relationship here. Uh, with the king and you're thinking about future plans in terms of finances, business, uh, house and family matters because that's the main focus of the king of pentacles here. I mean obviously it's your energy, it's a Taurus energy as well or an earth sign here 
Um, but I do feel, especially since kings are goal oriented, uh, this month seems to be so far, no matter if there's another person involved or not, and it very likely is as there is another person. Uh, we have two kings here, uh, so definitely feel like there's another person involved. Um, some shape or form as an advisor, um, someone who, who helps you out, um, or as some sort of partner here or friend. I do think it's a lot for you about the future plans. Where do you want to go now? Um, and that includes your finances. That could include your business or it could include your home life and your family life. Uh, let's go a little bit deeper. Let's go into your heart. Hmm. Well, it's not such a romantic month, I have to say. I feel like the October is more a month of planning ahead and doing what's necessary. Uh, getting over the, the a specific loss or a specific uh, conflict here that is quite heavy and just juggling everything at the moment this is how it feels like the queen of pen and um, the queen of one sorry queen of swords in your emotional side of it means not so much emotions uh, a little bit emotionally distant because things need to get uh, be done and for this is in, in sometimes it's important that you um make decisions from the mind i am someone who always said but you need to follow your heart you need to follow your heart and that's true but if you don't use your mind you're gonna get in trouble so uh, be wise make good choices and that is what the queen here says and it feels like in the month of october there's something where it is maybe you think you need to be like that maybe there is a situation that um that is uh, how do you say is responsible for you needing to be a little bit more emotionally distant uh, needing to have a clear mind and to be focused and to be focusing on your goals now here and uh, the queen is also uh, support and help so there might be something on your emotional side of things clearing up for you so you might see the truth of a situation you might see something now quite clear when it comes to your emotional life. That could also be a possibility here. In the past was a new beginning, was the fool energy. Fool energy obviously is quite a naive uh, energy, uh, something where you just jumped in into a new beginning, a new chapter. So um, not knowing uh, everything that could happen in terms of lesson, but being quite positive and quite optimistic. Uh, because you could see the potential here of something. So I feel like there is a, especially with the kings here, I do feel like for you in your life, there is a big, um, how do you say, uh, okay, that how do you say, maturing, that's the word in English. Um, there's a big maturing process going on for you. And uh, we see this because of the kings here. Uh, it might be that just recently a new chapter has started for you, a new beginning, something where something is a little bit more easy, more light again. But I also feel like, especially with having the big, uh, dis uh, the big um, difference here of two kings, and in the past the fool, the, the fool being the energy of being yay, spontaneous, being a bit naive about things, uh, but having trust that everything's going to work out. I feel like you went through a big maturing energy here, especially with now being focused more on the things that, um, I was just about to say that matters in life because the, the material world is, world is matter. And obviously with the pentacles and the king of pentacles in your mind, it's the matter. So it feels like you're more focused on earthly things in the month of October. What's coming towards you? Oh, okay. So uh, we just had the same thing going on for um, uh, Capricorn. You might have Capricorn energies as well. Uh, maybe you're dealing with the Capricorn. There is a radical ending in the near future coming to you. Uh, something that is just done, 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 done. Um, it is also the ending of a difficult phase. So actually you might be quite relieved that this is here, that the Ten of Swords is here because you're going to be like, oh my God, finally this is over and done with. So yes, uh, you might feel battered. Uh, I hope that's the right word. Bat Do you say battled? Battered? Battled? Um, well, you might feel like you're down um, uh, at the bottom. You feel like you don't have any energy or strength, um, but it's over and done. So something is over and done with where I do feel like in the past you jumped in quite naively. Now 
the maturing process is here, you might get help. Um, that actually might be the case because we do have the Queen of uh, Swords here and the King and another King. So there might be one or more people who could help you with advice, with support and help, clarity and all of that. So that's really, really good. Um, and also with your uh, main energy as the challenge being the Five of Swords, I do feel that the Ten of Swords is here in the near future. It's actually a good thing because something is finally over and done with and it was really difficult to get there. Your energy, yeah, oh my God, I, I just literally shuffled the cards like uh, a couple of times in between uh, Capricorn and, and you guys. But you have the same energy here as well. So you might want to check out Capricorn. Uh, you bring in the tower. So you bring in the energy of change. I think it's an ending that uh, you either initiate or that you're actually quite happy. Uh, with this card, it's about seeing the truth of a situation. Uh, like no filters anymore. No rose tinted glasses. This is the facts. And there might be some sort of insight um, with the tower in that energy, some sort of insight where you're going to be like, oh, okay, now I see clearly. Now there's absolutely no confusion anymore. Now I know what to do. And so you might initiate a change yourself here. Um, it's a liberation energy. So you might feel liberated from an energy where you felt stuck, where you felt, um, because this is the card that comes after the devil. And the devil means you've been controlled by something. You're breaking free of that. Whatever has controlled your life, whatever has made your life difficult, you're breaking free from that. Uh, the outside energies are the energies of another person playing a part here. Wow. The devil. Right, so whatever is in your environment, whatever the thing was where you were, that you were controlled by, it's done. It's done, it's ending, you're liberating yourself from that energy. Wow, uh, that's, that's big, isn't it? Let's go into your hopes, dreams and fears. You want to move on. You want to go into calmer waters, into a more peaceful energy, especially since this is a six of, uh, six of swords. Now, the five of swords is here in your challenging position. So you hope to move on from the conflicts, from the really really difficult phase in your life and maybe you're hoping to move or you have or to have a journey that might be something as well like oh i just want to have that holiday or that vacation now where i can just rest and relax and be in calmer waters it might be that uh, this is a move where you're like okay i want to move now into a place and environment that is more healthy for me and uh, it could mean you leaving a situation behind here and that's what you're hoping for i hope i can finally get some peace, go into, move into calmer waters here. How is the whole situation developing? Well, there is with the Three of Swords, the energy of heartache, emotional pain. So, well, this situation is a little bit painful here for you. Um, it's not like an easy peasy thing, like you're gonna be like, yay. Um, I do think you're gonna be like, yay, because something is ending that is quite uh, toxic or controlling here. Or like I said, um, that, that was controlling you in a way so you're breaking free but this breaking free comes with emotional pain um, also the three of swords is an energy where you might brainstorm so if you have so, uh, someone here in your life or maybe more than one person uh, there might be the energy of um, brainstorming and thinking about okay this is now what it is uh, how are we moving on from that um, so the brainstorming energy is here as well with that card. Let's see what the advice is. The advice is um, widen your horizon, be open for new experiences. Um, I feel like the worst is behind. I know it might still be a little bit of a difficult month because you're breaking free from the devil. You're breaking free from uh, those energies and there is this ending and there is a bit of heartache. But at the same time, this is what you're hoping for, to leave it all behind. And this card basically means be open for new experiences, learn something new. Uh, it might be a new hobby. Um, it might be a new hobby. It might also connect to traveling again or to see new places. Um, basically, I have new experiences here. So stay open, widen your horizon and um, yeah. 
All right, I hope you resonate with the reading. If so, please leave a like, a comment or subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.